Hey y'all, I've been thinking a lot about why so many managers are so terrible and are such poor leaders. And one of the things that um, I think is a big reason for that is that a lot of times people who are promoted into positions to be managers are not in fact leaders. And being a manager and leader is not the same thing. And I recently wrote a blog post for my website, which you can see um, right down below, where I talk about the difference between managers and leaders and how managers can take steps to become leaders and to become better leaders. Oftentimes people are promoted because they're good at something. They you know, have excelled on a project or, um, something to like that and so they are rewarded by being promoted into a higher level position so they can be paid more money um and i often think that sometimes it would be better to just give people more money rather than promoting them and putting them in a position where they're expected to manage other human beings when they don't have the skill set for it and oftentimes people are promoted but they are never trained intentionally trained and taught leadership skills which are not the same as management and so they end up um, doing a horrible job of managing other people. And when you add into that things like bi racial bias um, and other types of bias into the mix, you then have a disaster, right? And so one of the things that I really think all of us who are in you know, workplaces need to think about is not just being, you know, seeking to be managers because of the promotions and the increase in pay that comes along with it, but also striving to be leaders um, and learning how to effectively manage, mentor, support other people that comes along with being a manager and leader. And it's not peripheral to that. It's central to being a good manager and leader is being able to support, mentor, and um, promote um, and coach other people because you're put in charge of other people. And I always found as a manager and leader that, that my team managing my team was the most challenging thing because I recognized very early on that it, there's no cookie cutter one size fits all when you're, when you're managing people and that you have to be very intentional about understanding each person and how, how best to motivate them, how to get the best out of them, how to communicate effectively with them, how you how to give effective feedback to them and it's a work in progress and so i had to take courses i had to spend time um, educating myself about how to be a better leader of people and a better manager of people and it is not something that most employers ever focus on providing to their management team they just promote people and then whatever happens happens and then they circle the wagons especially if the person is white and they let them do whatever they want and it results in a disaster for the other people on the team especially the ones that aren't white so i think it's very important for all of us regardless of what we look like to strive to be not just managers but leaders in the workplace because you'll be better for it and so will be the people that work for you and a part of that is also educating yourself about differences um, being attentive to diversity, equity, and inclusion, being attentive to how you communicate with people who are different from you and looking and look different from you. And it's not on them to do that. It's on you as the manager and leader to take that on as a part of the responsibility for managing other people. And too often, too many in these positions think it's the people that are under them that have this responsibility and it's not. If you're a manager and you're a leader of people, you have the responsibility to understand all the different ways that you may need to structure how you communicate, how you support people based on what their differences are. And everyone is not like you. So you have to spend time thinking about that and learning how to do that. And the problem that I find over and over again in my work and also when I was in these kinds of roles is that people would get promoted, but no one would attend to whether or not this person should even be managing a block of cheese, much less a human being. And most of the time is they shouldn't have been managing even a block of cheese. And no one thought 
maybe we should make sure this person is trained before we put them in this kind of role. If they were successful and they did something that made the company money, they would just be like, we should promote this person, especially if they looked like this. We should promote this person because they'd had this one-off success with no attention to whether or not that's indicative of their ability to manage anything larger or to manage other human beings. And so it has always resulted in not good things, not only for them, but often, most, more often not for the people who are working under them. So I think it's really important for those who say they want to be leaders and they want to be managers um, to understand that man being a manager and being a leader are not the same thing. You can be a manager and be a horrible leader, right? And so if you want to be both, you have to intentionally pursue the development of the skills that will make you a better manager and leader. And I talk a lot about what those skills are um, and how to attend to being a better leader when you are a manager in my latest blog post. So I hope that you will check it out. There's a link in the bio. Um, I hope that you will find it helpful. I think it's useful for anyone who is pursuing management or is a manager who recognizes that they need to improve their leadership. Um, because it really is on you and there are things that you can ask your employer to do or help you do but it really starts with you recognizing that it's something that you have to attend to and that even though you are over a project doesn't necessarily mean that you're a great leader it just means you got a promotion because you did something well but it doesn't mean that you manage people well and so it's important to be intentional about learning how to manage other people and how to lead other people because it's critical to creating a good work environment where things like discrimination and other unfair treatment are less likely to occur. If you believe that you're being discriminated against at your work and you would like to cash out, i.e. have your employer pay you to go, please grab access to my online course how to ask for an exit from a discriminatory hostile workplace with cash and actually get it. It's on sale the entire Black History Month for $199. It's marked down from $599 and it will be available for sale for a limited time with limited quantities. So make sure you grab access to that course. This is Anne Marie, the anti HR HR lady. HR is not your enemy, but it's definitely not your friend, but I am. I'll see you in the next video.